43 years ago, a reporter from the Toronto Star broke a story about a baby boy in Brooklyn, New York, who had a very rare condition requiring extremely complex surgery, which was unavailable in the United States. And his mother, in any case, had no money to pay for it. But it brought about an amazing coincidence. The surgeon who actually pioneered the surgical technique offered to do the surgery for free, and as luck would have it, he was the chief of surgery here at the Hospital for Sick Children in Toronto. His name, Dr. Robert Filler. 13 years ago, we traveled to New York City, along with Dale Brazau of the Toronto Star, the reporter who broke the original Herbie story, and we met up with Herbie Quinone to see how the whole story began. My first meeting with the parents was right in this hospital here, and I remember the first uh, time I laid eyes on Herbie, his great big eyes, toothless grin, but you couldn't see him because he had 15 tubes sticking out of his nose, his mouth, the sides. The people in Brooklyn said, well, there's nothing we can do. He said, would you help? I said, of course, but there's a problem. I'm not, I'm not gonna charge you, but the hospital <laughs> cannot do it for free. We ran the story in the Toronto Star back in 1979. We were flooded with phone calls immediately about people wanting to help. Something about the people of Toronto when there's a child in need, they just come out of the woodwork and they wanna help. Herbie's surgery is a success, and he comes back to the city for a follow-up visit two years later. An obviously healthy and happy child has made a big impact on a lot of people here who now believe they can help save the lives of many other children through what they are now calling the Herbie Fund. It makes me happy that the fund is doing good stuff for other people out there. When you meet a couple of kids from other parts of the world, knowing that their lives have been saved and your name is kind of stamped on their forehead. I'm just happy that, you know, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. Herbie got to meet Dr. Bob Filler again at the 40th anniversary of the Herbie Fund here in Toronto in May of 2019. If it wasn't for you and your kindness and your just generosity, I wouldn't be here. So thank you for giving me a second chance. Dr. Ronald Zucker, a pediatric plastic and reconstructive surgeon here at the Hospital for Sick Children, remembers the early days of the Herbie Fund well. I was a junior surgeon and Dr. Filler was my boss, in fact. I began to understand what Herbie was all about and worked with Bob on a couple of cases and it was a joy to work with Bob Filler and to see how this whole program has grown and expanded from uh, the early beginnings. We need to be pretty sure that we're going to make a difference and it's going to be an impactful interaction with this child and, and it can't be done anywhere else in their home country and the child has a life-threatening or uh, severe condition that surgery would be life-saving or life-altering. It's very um, heartwarming to know that you've had the opportunity to use your talents to help this child and to help this family and to see their response and to see them uh, taking that next step forward into a normal life. It's very gratifying and we're very fortunate to be able to do that. The past two years have been extremely difficult for everyone. That includes the folks here at Sick Kids Hospital in Toronto. Because of COVID, many programs have either been suspended, delayed or deferred. That includes surgical procedures for kids through the Herbie Fund. We are really limited in our capacity because our primary purpose, of course, with this institution is to serve the children of Ontario and Canada. Uh, but nevertheless, these children are important as well. We're optimistic that when this passes and we're able to catch up with our backlogs and uh, our wait lists, etc., we'll be able to resume as we had before and help as many of these kids as we can. Well, I'd say that your money is going to help children that could not otherwise be helped, either life-saving or life-altering surgeries that they could not attain otherwise, and your money would be spent helping this, not only this child live a better life, but the family live a better life, the extended family, and the community itself. If you'd like to help children like the ones you've seen all week in this Herbie Fund series, then please go to theherbiefund.com and make a world of difference.